Hey guys, we're here to talk about how to set up your new evaporative humidifier, model H12-300HB and H12-400HB. I'm Casey with Essex Air, coming to you straight from the source with your quick start guide. You want to start by first opening the box to verify that you have all of the parts. In the parts box, you will find the owner's manual, registration card, accessory sheet, refill hose, four casters, float rod, plunger valve cap, cover, and bacteriostat. Now that you have verified all your parts, be sure to remove everything from within the cabinet before flipping it upside down to install the casters. Next, you can reinstall your wick, but before placing the wick, you want to adjust the retainer for the float at the top of the wick frame. Then place the float rod into the indent and through the retainer. Once the float rod is properly inserted, hook the back of the wick frame onto the ridge above the grill in the back of the cabinet. Next, you can place the chassis back on top of the unit. You can leave this cover off since this is where you will insert your water bottle. When filling your water bottle, use the refill hose. Be sure that the black end attaches to your faucet and the clear end is in the bottle. Securely tighten the plunger valve cap before placing it into your humidifier. When the bottle is in place, add the cover and your humidifier is ready for use. Once your humidifier is plugged in, turn it on using the power button, adjust the humidity using the knob on the left, and the fan speed using the knob on the right. If you see an F on your display screen, this means fill your unit with water, and CF means check your wick or filter. Now that you're all set, there's just a few things to remember. Clean your humidifier regularly, change your wick at least once per season, and use Bacteriostat to reduce mold and mildew buildup. Once again, I'm Casey with Essex Air. Thanks for watching and see you next time.